place in the world that pays homage to the iconic Las Vegas showgirl. But while there's a whole lot of history to share, the Las Vegas Showgirl Museum is running out of space to show it off. 13 Action News anchor Carla Wade is here to explain. Carla. Right now, thousands of dollars worth of showgirl artifacts are stashed away in warehouses across the city. The rest are inside Boylesque star Kenny Kerr's old mansion in Paradise Palms. In Las Vegas, the showgirl is non-existent. Gone from the stage, but the true showgirl still exists inside this home. And so many companies use the image of a showgirl to get people to come here. Well, the great thing is we have the showgirl. We have that image alive and breathing. But while every room, every floor, and every corner is a testament to the glamorous and gaudy glory days of Las Vegas entertainment, Entertainment. It's not open to the public. What you see here is only a glimpse of a collection that includes more than 30,000 artifacts and 1,000 costumed mannequins. For more than two years, Grant Filippo's Las Vegas Showgirl Museum has been waiting for city approval to move to what's known as the Reed Whipple Building. The Reed Whipple is a perfect building for us, not only because it's been around for a long time, but the fact that it is on Las Vegas Boulevard. If this museum were open to the public, people could come in here and find out all kinds of little known facts about showgirls and their place in Las Vegas history. For example, this is called a backpack. This one's pretty light, but some of these can weigh over 60 pounds. Education and history and culture that shows people a different side to Las Vegas than what they're normally used to seeing. Now the city's decision is expected sometime in June. Steve.